All right, so I'm currently opening up AutoCAD. This is AutoCAD 2013. Um, some of you may have the 2012 version, and that's okay because they're very, very similar. Um, slight differences in the two versions. Uh, the first time you do open it, it will take a while. And when you do open it for the first time, um, you'll, you'll run into several pop-ups. And this is the first one. If you downloaded this from the Autodesk site, you have this little warning saying that it's going to uh, essentially infect every single thing that you draw or every file that you open in this program with a banner that says that it was created by an educational product. Uh, for the purposes of what we're doing in class, um, that's fine. Um, I don't mind having that banner. And that banner only really shows up when you're printing objects. So, uh, and there is a way around that. Uh, we might get into that a little bit later, but for right now, just click continue. And it looks like we're ready to go, but it's going to bring up another pop-up. Here it is. And this is the Autodesk Exchange. What this is is a little splash screen. Um, giving us shortcuts to opening files, uh, having starting new files, various recent files that, uh, that I have done, um, as well as tutorials, what's new, um, various resources, uh, the uh, more apps that you can download onto your smartphone. If you have an Android phone or an iPhone or an iPad, you can, uh, you can have the AutoCAD um, WS, which is a web version, uh, download it right to your smartphone. And uh, in the 2013 version, we can apparently connect with Facebook and Twitter, um, which is the way everyone seems to be going these days. So basically, we can turn this, uh, we can shut this down because we don't want to see it. Unfortunately, that will pop up every, every time that we start. So here's AutoCAD. Okay, I've extended my cursor, uh, so that's why you see the, the white lines uh, going all the way vertical and all the way horizontal. You guys will probably have a, a standard crosshair. Um, what do we need to know about this? Um, this is what the software looks like when you open it up. Uh, along the, the top, always good to start there, along the top, we have our uh, various icons for starting new drawing, opening drawings, um, saving documents, printing documents, um, undoing uh, steps that we've created. Then we've got a drop down for uh, the workspace that we want. Okay, if we hit this, we can see that we can go into 3D uh, basic mode or 3D modeling mode, old AutoCAD classic mode. Um, right now, we're going to stick with drafting and annotation, and uh, we're not going to deviate from that at all. So we're going to stay there. Then we've got a little drop down that's kind of hiding out in the side here. If we hit that and go all the way down to show menu bar, Autodesk likes to hide this right off the bat. If we show menu bar, now we have our standard file, edit, view, insert. And then a couple of others like format and tools that uh, that we will be using. Underneath that, we've got a set of tabs. Okay, this is the home tab, and each tab is a set of of, of ribbons. So the home tab has the ribbon for draw, for modify, layers, annotation, block, properties, and a couple more. Um, what we're going to be focusing on is the Home tab, the Insert tab, and the Annotate tab. Okay, that's really what we're going to be looking for. So I'm just going to go back to the Home tab. All right, so here in the ribbon, these are our drawing tools. Okay, anywhere you see a little drop-down arrow, that just means that there's more options uh, for that particular icon. Let's see for the circle. There are different ways we can draw a circle, okay, or different ways we can draw an arc. Um, under under rectangle, we also have a polygon, uh, so that's hidden there. 
Um, and we'll be using uh, most of these, if not all of them. And then the next one over is the modify. So once we create a drawing, we, can, we need to modify the drawing. Or in the middle of creating our drawing, we may need to modify some elements. Uh, layers will become very important. Um, and annotation. This is basic annotation here. Um, we will be talking about this later on in the semester. Okay. What else do we need to know? We need to know that this giant large black space here is our workspace. Okay, this is where our drawings take place. If we if we follow the black uh, the, the workspace down to the bottom, we notice that it's called model. Okay, this our workspace is our model space. This is where we create our drawings, true to form. Okay, true to life. So if something is two inches, you draw it two inches. If something is 50 feet, you draw it 50 feet. Um, this does go on forever. All right. Um, it can be as big as you need it to be or as little as you need it to be. If something is uh, a, a couple of millimeters, you draw it at a couple of millimeters. All right. And we'll be able to zoom in and out uh, of this workspace so that it's manageable uh, to work with. Next to the model space, we have layout one and layout two. Okay, if we click on that, essentially this is our sheet of paper that we print. Okay, uh, we have a viewport, which is like a window into model space, and the the grid there is basically the model that we're looking at, um, and we see how it's oriented on our sheet of paper. Okay, we can change the size of the sheet of paper depending on our printer. Um, and we can size everything and scale everything so that it looks pretty so that when you give this to the manufacturer or give this to um, uh, to another company to, to look at, they'll be able to uh, understand and read the entire print. So we'll jump back to model. Um, in the 2012 version, there's also a command line. Okay, In the 2013 version, they decided to include it in the center here. Um, a lot of people like to use commands and they like to type things in and it's a little bit faster for those people than clicking on an icon for drawing a line let's say. All right, They might be able to just type in L and enter and they'll be drawing a line instead of going up to the icon, clicking on it, coming back down into the drawing. Um, some people get used to that and um, and they become a lot more efficient in, in their drawing. And we'll be learning various commands so you guys can decide for yourselves uh, what you like better, what makes more sense, um, and hopefully that uh, uh, you can find an efficient way to, to start creating your drawings. Underneath that, we've got a set of settings. And this is to help our drawing, help us out uh, when we're doing our drawing. Uh, we have snaps that we can set if you want to set you know snap every quarter of an inch every half an inch uh, every eighth of an inch we can do that we can turn our grid on and off okay <clears throat> we have ortho mode um, polar tracking uh, this is object snap uh, and we'll be covering all these enhancements if you will uh, to to creating our drawing uh, in, a, in another module all right, moving over to the right hand side, we notice that we are in model space. It tells us we're in model space, and that's a good thing. Um, that was my phone going off. I apologize for that. And we've got some other icons that we really don't have to worry about. Okay, uh, we'll be talking more in depth about all of these icons uh, when it comes time. Uh, but just to let you guys know, we can also use this icon to switch back and forth between model and paper space, um, or we can go over to the tabs on the bottom left-hand corner and do the same thing. So that's a quick overview of AutoCAD and what we're going to be working with, what we're going to be using. And I look forward to seeing you guys at the next tutorial.